Here are some of the useful tools that Edge has that Chrome doesn't. Thanks to Russ Ware for his excellent article in How to Geek on this topic. You might think that two browsers based on the same technology, Chromium, would be close to equal when it comes to tools and features. But with Edge and Chrome, this isn't what we see. Chrome is clearly doing something right as it remains by far the most used desktop browser in the world. But there can be little doubt that Microsoft is looking for a bigger slice of the pie. Let's dig into Edge and let me tell you all about those six useful tools. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and get involved. Number one, vertical tabs. Although it may not immediately strike you as a killer feature, the option to move your open tabs to the side of the window in Edge is very useful. This is especially true if you have a lot of tabs open, as it gives you more space for the page title to be displayed because of the way most monitors are designed. You do lose a bit of screen real estate, but this can be lessened by unpinning the tabs pane so that it minimizes when you aren't using it. Number two, the edge bar. The edge bar is possibly one of the most overlooked features of Edge. This useful tool gives you a snapshot of the Microsoft News feed from the start page. It also lets you search the web and pin favored websites, all from a slim panel that sits at the side of your screen. Number three, web capture. Web Capture is a tool that lets you save a complete web page as an image. It will be more useful for some people than others, but if you want to share a picture of a web page without having to send multiple images or stitch together several screenshots into a single image, Web Capture is a great tool. You select Web Capture either from the Edge menu or by right clicking on the page and selecting it from the context menu. The web capture tool has two options, capture area and capture full page. The first lets you capture a specific area of the page and the second captures the entire web page and opens the image in a preview. You can then draw or write on the image before saving or sharing it. Number four, picture in picture. Picture in picture control is enabled by default. When viewing a video on a website in Edge, a small PIP control button will appear at the top of the video window. You can then click the button to continue watching the video in a small flyout window. You can resize the video viewer and it can be moved around the screen if its original position doesn't suit you. Number 5. Collections Collections in Edge are a bit like digital mood boards. They are very useful when researching something online, as they give you a place to group links, images, and text together. You can end up with a much more ordered selection of information, rather than just a load of links added to your favorites. Number 6. Efficiency Mode Chrome is notorious for being a resource-hungry browser, especially if you have several tabs open. Edge doesn't have the same reputation for gobbling up system memory, but it still gives you several performance options, including Efficiency Mode. Efficiency Mode is enabled from the Edge menu. When the mode is activated, it automatically puts unused tabs to sleep after a set period. It also limits Edge CPU usage slightly, which further helps overall PC performance and can also help to extend battery life on your laptop. Since usefulness is a relative term, you might think all of these Edge tools sound useful. You may just like a couple or even none of them. Edge certainly gives you plenty of options and many ways to customize it to your liking. Now may be the perfect time to give the Microsoft browser a try. Why not see if Edge can replace Chrome on your computer? Stay safe, stay secure, and I'll see you again soon.
拜拜。